Hey gang, what do you think? Do you recognize the face? Yes, this is the Hesserat Angel, otherwise known as the Angel of Death Victorious. We've reached 100,000 subscribers. I cannot, I cannot even believe it. If you were to have asked me a little over a year ago when I started this channel if I'd ever make it to even 10,000 subscribers, I would have said you're crazy. It's really exciting, and I just want to thank all of you, uh, all of you viewers, subscribers, contributors, Patreon. I've met so many amazing people from this channel. I got to tell you, it's from the bottom of my heart, it's really changed my life. I'm really, I've always had a passion for cemeteries, and it really has engaged me to really really delve into it and you guys are really inspiring me to continue on and go go harder I'm really having a lot of fun and the, the most fun that I'm having is meeting and seeing all of you all of you and the, the fabulous comments and the friends that I'm making and the community that we are creating it's it's just phenomenal so I thought I would stop out here today, the special place, the special symbol that really I started the channel because of what this, what this angel represents and it is that death is always victorious, death always wins, we're all going to die and let's not be afraid of it, let's celebrate it and let's celebrate the history of those that passed before us. So thanks, thanks everybody for hanging out with me and coming along. I'm going to continue on, uh, and we're going to have fun doing it. And with, with everything we do, we're going to have a lot of respect for the people that we visit. And here today we visit the Hasserat family. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look at the, the Hasserat angel, the angel of death victorious. What an amazing sculpture this is. And you see there, the angel is holding a torch upside down, which represents life extinguished. The sculptor that did this was a guy named Herman Matson. 1861, he passed away in 1938. He was an American sculptor and educator. He was born in Denmark and most of his famous works are here in Ohio. He's done some amazing things and I think this is probably what he is most noted for. And I have always wanted to take a close-up look at this fabulous, haunting, intriguing piece of art. It almost comes alive. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Is it, it's just so haunting and you can see the angel is crying from the, the black staining that's going down the cheeks. The wings outstretched. Just amazing. I've always wanted to see this up close. What a profile. It's set in this beautiful granite setting and you can see here we're going to take a look at a few of the stones and of course this is this is Francis Henry Hasserat there are many Hasserats here, there are many stones, but the uh, Sarah McKinney Hasserat and John Hawley Hasserat, I think, were the initial, the initial stones. Who were the Hasserats? Well, they, they were here in Cleveland. Francis was a big entrepreneur here, and they are known for the, their canning, their canning business. It was it was his grandfather, Henry, who was a native of a small town in Saxony, Germany, and they sailed here to America in 1834. They landed in New York, 
and from there they had built a homestead and they built a log cabin for he and his family and after improving the land they moved on and they made their way here to Ohio. Francis, who I believe commissioned this amazing statue and who is the patriarch buried here, as a youth he did newspaper work and then he went to work for a dry goods house. Became a traveling salesman and a department buyer in 1885. He became a partner in the wholesale grocery firm business and his brother and he bought the company out and from there they just went up 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 into mercantile they were distributing pineapples from the Hawaiian Islands the Pacific Coast fruit vegetables that were produced in the Middle West so he was an entrepreneur but he was most known for the canning in 1889, he married Miss Sarah Henrietta McKinney, who we see here. And she was the daughter of Judge McKinney here, of Scotch, Irish, and Stoles of Dutch ancestry. So he's buried here with his wife and his son and all of the other Hasserats. Now, this cemetery is unbelievable. It kind of reminds me of Bella Fontaine in St. Louis. There are so many amazing sculptures and monuments. Look at that huge mausoleum up there in the hill, totally enclosed. It's haunting. There are so many sculptures here that are amazing. I've got to come back here and do do some more uh, exploring. But there it is, guys, the Hasserat Angel. And I just, I, I made this six hour drive, just, I thought you would get a, a kick out of this. And I thought you would like it too, to get the first, what I'm gonna say, really good 4K view. There's a lot of pictures of the Hasserat Angel but we're gonna get our share here. So from Cleveland, Ohio, I bid you guys farewell and let's carry on. See ya. <laughs>